We're going to start off by doing create new HTML5 canvas. And then I'm going to import to stage an image. If you go to StuShare, web design, and get WTP, there will be an image of Winnie the Pooh. If you lock your scale and change the height to 720, it'll be the same height as the screen. If you go to align and do align to stage, you can align center and middle and we'll center him on your stage. I'm going to make layer one my picture layer. I'm going to lock my layer and create a new one that I'm going to call front leg. I'm going to go to my zoom tool. I'm going to draw a box around the front leg. And that's going to be the part I work on. The two main ways of doing this are drawing lines with the line tool and then filling them in with a paint bucket. Or you can draw a shape, which is what we're going to try first. We're going to have our outline be black because the outline is black. And then our fill color, we're going to choose a color from the leg so that it will match. And we just draw a rectangle. Using my selection tool, I'm going to double click to select that so that my stroke is selected. And I'm going to increase the stroke size so that it matches the thickness of this line, which should be about three. And then using my selection tool, I'm going to go to the corner so that on my mouse I have the little corner icon. And I'm going to move that to each of the points where it changes direction. So the leftmost point, the topmost point, and then probably somewhere around here. Then this point will go to the corner here. And then in the middle of each of those, I'm going to bend those so that it matches the line that I'm trying to trace. Once you run out of corners that you can use, you can hold down the Alt key. And instead of bending your line, it will create a new corner for you to use. So I'm going to put one where it finishes bending here. Bottom of the foot. Side of the foot and the top of the foot. If it doesn't ever quite line up, you can just add another corner and then bend it some more till it matches. And you may need to go into outline mode so that you can see the line more clearly. Once your line more or less matches, you'll see you have the outline that looks pretty decent. You'll need to be in outline mode to grab the line tool to draw the last part. So go here, and then go to selection tool to bend that to match the contour of his foot. If you want to do this line on the bottom of the foot, that's fine, but it looks fine if you don't have it as well. And then if we were to hide the picture, this is the image we have. Let's change our stage to a different color so we can see our black outline. Once you're finished with that body part, lock the layer and create a new one, and this is going to be our back leg. I'm going to zoom back out and draw a box over where I think the back leg should be and work on that. For this leg, we're going to try the other method. We're going to use the line tool and then fill it in when we're finished. So I'm going to draw a series of lines. It might be easier with outline. Make sure that your magnet is on. Your magnet will allow the points on your line to, if you get close to the corner, it will attach it to that piece. So if I start here, when I get close, you'll see that it gets the circle, and that means that those two points are attaching. If there are any holes in your lines, then it will not fill in whenever you go to the paint bucket.
When you get to the top, you may think, I want to go here. Just straight across and match the contour of the body. But this leg is behind the body. And later when we animate this, this leg is going to be moving and you do not want there to be a cutout piece here. So pretend like that that is not there. We're just going to go straight across and we will bend that up later. Once we have our outline, we can go and bend all of our pieces. So I'm going to bend this part up high. That way if I see any of this piece, there won't be a cutout for that leg. Once you have all the lines filled in, you can go back to see the solid where we should actually see the black line. Go to the paint bucket, assuming that we still have the same color. We should be able to click and it fill in. If it does not fill in, you need to go back and check for holes in your line. Then if we zoom back out, we'll see that our legs look a little funny. Since our back leg is behind our front leg, we should move it below it on the order. The last part we're going to do today is the body. So let's draw a box with our zoom tool around the body. Let's lock our back leg layer, create a new layer for the body. Ideally, your body will be between the front leg and the back leg. If you want it to be on top at the beginning, that's fine. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make my front leg and back leg invisible so that the things I've already drawn will not be in the way. I'm going to use a rectangle for the body. I'm going to zoom in a little bit more so I can see that better. Hold Alt to make a new point. And here we have to extrapolate where do we think this red line is going. It should probably end about here. I'm going to pretend like the arm's not there when we make it. Then let's bend all of our lines to match. If you have a corner like this that you can't seem to get rid of, just add another point. So I'm going to add another corner here. That way I can bend this line to smooth out those edges. Then if I turn outline off, we'll see the outline of our body. I'm going to go back to outline, and I'm going to do the shirt with the line. So I'm going to finish doing the rest of the outline of just the part that would be the body. So I'm going to ignore this arm in the sleeve and just do the outline. Following this path of the shirt, it should probably come to about here. Then we'll go back and bend all of these lines.
Once we think our outline looks okay, we'll go back to our paint bucket, choose our color, and let's pick a red from right in the middle, and fill that in. The only piece that appears to be missing is this part on the shirt, so I'm going to go back to the outline, go to my line tool, draw those couple lines, bend those to match, there's also a little line here, a little line here, and a little line here. Make those look like extensions of the lines that they are coming from. And then this is what we have. If we zoom back out and we make our picture layer invisible and then we turn on our two legs, this is what we have so far. And we'll save what we're doing. Name our file character. And then we'll upload it to our website after we finish the other half of our character.